Hello, here is our weekly update for English 560, Shakespeare's Plays. We're on week number nine now, the week of October 26th. This week we're turning to one of Shakespeare's lesser known works, a little play called Hamlet, the Prince of Denmark. Maybe you've heard of it? Since last week's fall break squeezed us on measure for measure, I'm actually thinking of using the first part of this week to keep talking about that play. So I'll ask you to have the quiz over Hamlet and your response blog for that play posted by Wednesday the 28th. We've got this week and next for Hamlet. That's still not enough time for that play, uh, but let's not be too hasty to get away from measure for measure and all the good things you're saying about that. Clearly, there's not a whole lot I need to say to set up Hamlet, although if you're listening to my audio introductions that I have posted in the le lessons section, you're getting a pretty good sense of my interests in the plays there. Again, we're still a little bit out of chronological order if you're paying attention to that element of our semester. Shakespeare almost certainly wrote Hamlet around 1598, more likely into 1599, a couple of years before he wrote Measure for Measure, uh, shortly after completing King Henry V, probably. So one topic we might be talking about is how this sequence suggests that the playwright's changing ideas about how to explore ideas of justice or authority on stage. What might James Burbage, the principal actor of the Lord Chamberlain's Men, have taken away from his production of King Henry that could inform his approach to the Danish prince? Of course, that raises questions about genre, too. What's different about depicting justice in a history play as contrasted with depicting that idea in a tragedy? And speaking of tragedy, don't forget that you have one more weekend to see the UND production of King Lear. The production review is due on November 9th, so we can talk next week about what that review should look like. But it will be hard to write that review if you haven't seen the play.